Mr. Coogan Cash's rival team in association with MTK Global with the Hydro Arena here in Glasgow, uh, joined by Charlie Flynn. Uh, How you doing, my man? You know, How you doing, mate? Um, yeah, disappointing Garden, uh, end to that Garden. fight. It was given as a technical draw. Yeah. But uh, what do you remember about the sort of the clash of heads? Uh, I was just I was just warming into the fight, working the jab, working the body shot. She gave me another three, four rounds where I stopped him, a couple more rounds where I stopped him, you know what I mean? I was I was feeling good in there. Just just because I've been out for a year, I was just fine making sure I was getting comfortable in the ring, just working the jab. And then he just, he's known for it, he's renowned for it. His last fight he stopped, got cut. His fight before that got stopped, got cut. He just comes in, headbutts, cuts people, and that's what happens, you know what I mean? And uh, we knew that. But um, he just, I made a mess, stepped back, he fell in and just went bang his head, cut. So, it's not, it's just depressing, isn't it? But he just need to get on with it, I suppose. But, I mean, it's depressing. So, you, you, you or your team don't view that as an accidental clash of heads? you believe that... There's maybe more to it. I don't know. You can't even cut about 80% of the people you fight, and everyone's like, I've not seen the replay, so I've not actually seen it. But I mean, I don't know. I need to watch your bag. But you can't keep consistently cut people on the trot and say, oh, it's accidental, you know what I mean? Maybe it's the way he boxes, but I mean, I'll watch the replay and see, you know what I mean? But we told the ref before the fight starts. Before the fight started, we went up to the ref and goes, this boy is renowned for head, just in a nice way, you know what I mean? We say, this boy's renowned for head, but just watch his head, you know what I mean? And then, that's what happened. It's a shame, because, you know, the, the early couple of rounds, it was shaping into a good fight. I know you're saying you believe you would have stopped him, yeah. uh, you know, but it was shaping into a, a quite a decent fight I between the pair of you. I, I, I was enjoying just getting moving about the ring and working the jab, you know what I mean? I was just enjoying myself in there. And uh, I, cut, I was starting to let my hands go a wee bit. A couple more rounds, I would have been absolutely fine, man. You know what I mean? All right, Ricky? But uh, I'm gutted, it's depressing, man, because I didn't get to box. I didn't get to let my hands go. I only just started working the jab, working the body shots, to start to break them down. Two, three more rounds, I would have just upped the pace and I would have been flying, man. So. I'm just gutted, man. It's not good, is it? It's not good. But obviously, uh, a, a rematch must be on the cards, um, uh, you know, whenever that uh, may be. Whenever, man, but it might just end up the same and I'll cut, you know what I mean? It, you're going to end up fighting him again, he's just going to fall in head by you again, he's going to get cut again. Because that's the type of fighter he is. It does it to literally all of the boxers he fights. But I mean, I would have, I would have boxed the head off. A couple more rounds, I would have been boxing the head off and landing the body shots. Getting uppercuts, the hooks going, it would have been flying, man, but no disrespect to him. I know Ryan for the amateurs, you know what I mean? But I mean, it's just no, it's just no good. It's no good for anybody, is it? Nobody wins in a fight like that. And that might take some time to heal that. Well, it says 25 stitches. I said 25, so it says it's one of the worst cuts he's ever had. It's that deep. So a lot of interior stitches in the ones on the outside and all that, and then. It says uh, 90 days, so what's that, three months? Three months, yeah. Oh, who needs that, man? <laughs> I'm going away for some food. <laughs> I don't blame you, I don't oh, blame you. I just want to thank my sponsors as well. Big Bookie, Nano Clark, for everything they've done. And um, Elite Scaffold for supporting the gym and that as well, because it's been really good. Um, they've been supporting me, paying for everything. And, you know, I would have just rocked me right into the right into the, the top top ten of the British. You know what I mean? Put it right up there, and it's just depressing. But we just need to roll with the punches. We'll be back. We'll be back stronger, man. We'll be back, Kugan. <laughs> we'll be back, my man. You will be back, mate. We'll be back. Well, listen. Try and uh, keep the chin up. And like I said, it was, it's one of them things that's happened tonight. You got to move on from it. I know yeah. it's difficult for you to take that at the moment, but uh, you know, um, that's it. enjoy the rest of the boxing. Aye. And, uh, Cheers, man. All right. I'll watch Ricky take a title, man. Take yep. unify. Absolutely. All right. Charlie Flynn, thanks for talking to us all today. All right, cheers, man. No problem.